new McCormick International No. 37 and 47 balers have many design and construction features that make them superior to the new Holland 270 and 271. But for a quick comparison, let's just look at the feed action and powertrain of each machine. Then you'll have the story of the McCormick International No. 37 and 47 balers' superiorities over the new Holland 270 and 271. First of all, the IH pickup has just one job to do. Deliver hay from the windrow to the auger. The pickup fingers are closely spaced and cam operated. They're made of flexible spring steel with six coils. As a result, they deliver hay in a gentle, continuous ribbon so that the nutrient-rich leaves are preserved. The new Holland pickup has rigid fingers with four coils. It's designed to perform two jobs, lift the hay and then pack it into the crossfeed. This method of feeding is rough on the hay. Leaves are shattered and lost. Clearance at the rear of the New Holland pickup cover is only 10 and 3 quarter inches. Clearance at the rear of the number 37 and 47's pickup cover is 25 inches. Capacity is building up. The IH crossfeed features a full floating auger and three wide span packer fingers. This construction keeps parts to a minimum. The auger turns the windrow gently but firmly toward the bale chamber opening. No linkages, fewer parts and adjustments, and no chains to cause trouble. The spring-loaded auger floats, handles heavy or light windrows gently to save leaves. It delivers high-quality hay to the packer fingers for delivery to the bale chamber. The number 37 and 47 storage area is large enough for the temporary holding of the hay without churning, grinding, or losing the leaves. It also enables the packer fingers to sweep in a large charge of hay for every plunger stroke. The three packer fingers on the number 37 and 47 cover a span nine and a half inches wide. They sweep large charges of hay into the bale chamber. New Holland balers have a flow action cross feed. It has four movements, start of stroke, loading, distributing, and return stroke. When the cross feed is not full, the tines can pull through the hay without giving the bale chamber a full charge. That's why the hay has to be pre-packed by the pickup fingers. The two packer fingers on the New Holland cover a span of only three and a half inches, and they're offset in the opening of the bale chamber. Compare this to McCormick International's nine and a half inch span. The straddle-mounted plunger crank of the oven keeps the plunger pitman in proper alignment to avoid bending and breaking. New Holland's plunger crank is mounted on a single arm that creates angular strain on the plunger pitman and the arm mounting. The 37 and 47's powertrain is one big reason for their capacity to handle up to 17 tons per hour, day after day, season after season. IH's power goes through spiral bevel and pinion gears to reduce friction and thus give more power to the plunger for increasing the baler's capacity. New Holland has a high point gear drive that by its nature has greater tooth angularity. The result is more sliding action and therefore more friction and heat. The high point gear drive creates more friction and so less power is directed to the plunger. One of the factors limiting New Holland's baler to only 14 tons per hour. The double chain driving the 37 and 47's pickup are the only chains used. In comparison to the 37 and 47's two chains, New Holland uses four. A chain drives the pickup, the main drive, the cross feed, and the knotter. The McCormick knotter is far superior to any knotter used by competitors because of its simple design. Fewer moving parts, fewer adjustments, and greater dependability. The McCormick knotter ties a double diameter bow knot that is considerably stronger than any knot made by a competitive machine. Twine breakage has been practically eliminated. When an engine drives the number 47, it's mounted directly above the bale chamber for proper balance. This type mounting leaves the operator with an unobstructed view of the pickup so that he can pick up all the hay and use the full width of the pickup. New Holland mounts the engine on the side of the bale chamber. This type mounting not only places a strain on the bale chamber, but it also reduces the operator's view of the pickup so that he cannot make use of its full width. The superiorities of the feed action and the power train of the number 37 and 47 balers make baling easier, faster, and more profitable. 
Ask for a demonstration of the 47 or the low-cost 37 baler. Quality products by International Harvester.